what's up? It's Leanna. You're watching Proof Weight Loss Surgery Works. And I am your Friday vlogger. And I am traveling this wonderful Friday. And um, yeah. So um, I kind of had some, you know, family emergencies last week. So I wasn't able to make it. But I do kind of want to touch on last week's topic. Um, was about alcohol and um, my choice of alcohol beverage and um, pretty much it's vodka and some kind of flavor so um, if I'm trying to watch my weight my figure I will do um, like vodka and cranberry or um, I will take like zero calorie like vitamin water or um, like flavored non-carbonated beverages that um, usually have like zero calories and I will throw that in uh, with some vodka and um, make myself a drink that way if I'm out at you know a bar or something I will do like vodka and cranberry or um, something of, of that nature now if I'm going all out I really don't care about my weight I'm on vacation I'm having a party hearty I will have me a pina colada pina colada and um, or Miami Vice or something sweet and barely can taste the alcohol um, is how I like to roll um, some kind of blended beverage um, usually very high in calorie so um, I don't partake in that unless like I said I am you know on some kind of like vacation or we're out with you know a group of people I don't know just you know if I'm not watching what I'm you know consuming I will go that route but um, most of the time I will just do like vodka and something flavorful and I'm a pretty lightweight I've always been a lightweight I've never been much of a drinker so um, and when I did become a drinker it was I want nothing you know whatever that does not taste like alcohol so um, needless to say I pretty much one two drinks and I'm good so um, that's kind of how I am with that. Uh, this week's topic. This week's topic is sugar. Um, how do you handle sugar? So um, anybody who doesn't know, I am a uh, lap band patient. I have a 14cc Allergan lap band. And, you know, going into this process of having weight loss surgery, I was under the assumption that I wasn't going to be able to eat anything anymore. Like, two bites and I was going to be done. And I couldn't have cake. I couldn't have bread. You know, I couldn't, you know, partake in all these wonderful, joyous, you know, desserts that I, you know, once loved. And um, that it was just going to be this magic switch once I had surgery. Well... Um, I am one of those lucky lap band patients that, um, pretty much can eat anything and everything and I rarely get stuck. And, um, maybe that's just because I am a fantastic chewer. Um, I chew, 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 chew till there ain't no more to chew. And, um, and I always think before I take the next bite. Um, I take one bite. I chew, 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 and I um, put my fork down pretty much, and um, I always kind of do a self-check of um, am I okay to take another bite before um, I take any bite. So um, I've just in installed that habit in me where, you know, when I eat, I'm a very slow eater, um, so... You know, I, I just take my time while eating. And I don't know if that has also hindered me in some ways because I think that's also a reason I am capable of eating 
so many different things because um, I take my time. So, um, like I said, I can eat bread. Um, you know, I can have baked potatoes, sweet potatoes. Um, there is no restriction of what I can eat. Um, there are times where, you know, Aunt Flo's in town or some freakish reason. If I haven't, if I have not eaten all day and it's like one o'clock and I decide to eat, uh, my band does not like me. So, I mean, I do have some restrictions, but for the most part, I could eat a whole cupcake in, you know, within 10 minutes or whatever and um, not have any problems. So, sugar um, does not affect me as if, you know, I was gastric bypass or I'm not sure if it affects a vertical sleeve or not. Um, I don't really know. Um, but it just all becomes with the sense of I've had weight loss surgery. I have a tool now inside of me because I want to lose weight or because I want to maintain weight and in order to lose or maintain you have to eat a certain way a certain lifestyle a certain you know life diet um, you know and um, you know it's funny because we'll be out somewhere or go somewhere and someone will offer me you know a sweet or something like that and I'll say I'm on a diet I can't eat that and for me, it's just easier to tell somebody I'm on a diet than to kind of explain to somebody, well, you know, I'm really trying to, you know, watch, you know, a couple pounds right now. And, you know, I don't know, maybe it kind of works both ways because now that I think about it, then I tell people I'm on a diet and they're like, you're crazy. What do you need to lose? But um, I pretty much just say that around my family. You know, I say I'm trying to really stick to my diets. You know, um, sometimes there is room for, you know, dessert or things like that. But what I do is, um, I'm like all over the place in this video. So just kind of bear with me. Um, it just popped in my head like yesterday. Uh, I went to the grocery store. And when I go to the grocery store, they have this bulk section. And they have peanut butter chocolate covered malt balls. And um, I will sample a couple. And so that kind of gets my little sweet tooth out. I will sample two, you know, whatever. And, and so, you know, I do little things like that that will keep my sweet tooth curved, you know. And I'm not in this vicious, oh my gosh, I need to eat a gallon of ice cream, you know. And so, you know, I'll, I'll do little things like that. And, um, I will also, you know, if I want ice cream, I will go out and get a scoop of ice cream, but it's not in the house. So it's not in the house and it's not there tempting me. Um, if it is in the house, I will eat it. I have no self control. I will repeat that. I, Leanna, have no self control. So knowing that I have no self control, I do not bring it in the house and I have to make an effort to go out and get it you know and that um, that a lot of the times will you know stop me from having it on a regular basis because usually if I'm you know indulging in a treat it's I'm out of town or I'm having a special occasion of some sort and I will have something sweet um, and so, like I said, I don't keep it in the house. I also, wonderfully, work for a cookie cracker company. So I am always surrounded by cookies. And what do I do? I leave them outside of the house. I do not bring them inside the house because I, again, Leanna, have no self-control. I cannot just eat the two cookie serving size. I have to eat eight to like a whole sleeve of cookies and um, yes I can and I and I have and I I you know love to once in a great while think I have self-control and I will bring things in the house and um, 
I learned that they like taunt me in the house. Um, I can hear that bag of cookies from anywhere in the house and they're just like, Leanna, come eat me. You can have just one. And um, so I try and it never, um, I never eat just one. So, um, you know, knowing this about myself, knowing that this is the way I am with sweets, I keep them in arm's length. And um, that's just kind of how I handle sweets. Um, I just don't have them around because I will eat them. So um, I've learned self-control and I've learned um, not to have them around. I am um, grateful that my husband does not have a sweet tooth. So he does not crave um, sweets very often. So, um, you know, that's the other thing. I had to, you know, have a conversation with my husband. Please do not bring me candy bars. Please do not bring me ice cream. Please do not bring me sweets because I will eat them. Um, because he, he, it used to be a way of, you know, um, cheering me up. He would bring me home a sweet, you know, if I was in, you know, a bad mood or was having a bad day, he would bring me home, you know, something sweet. And I had to tell him that we cannot do that anymore. So, um, several habits, several, several triggers have had to have changed, um, you know, looking for different alternatives. You know, if I'm craving something sweet, sometimes I'll have a yogurt or, you know, something like that, that will satisfy that uh, craving. But a lot of times, just a small amount of something will um, help. Just like, you know, I will sample the chocolate malt balls at the, you know, health food store. So, uh, things like that. So, you just got to learn different ways. But again, I am a firm believer of everything in moderation. And so, you make this a lifestyle. And um, 